Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of 100% Orange Juice. We'll be doing Struggle of Cyborg again. And this time we'll be playing as Aru. Uh, Aru! <laughs> She's objectively the worst character. Uh, Silly because uh, she has negative 1 attack, negative 1 defense, and plus 1 evade for 5 health. If you wanted the plus one evasion value, you can play as Hime, who also has five health, but also has a plus one attack. So in every way, Hime is just a better version of Aru. Um, Aru likes to play the farm game, so you want to stock up on cards like Nice Jingle, even though you can only have one of those. Uh, Three Holy Knights is standard. And max out on those gift exchanges. Uh, we only have two copies. Uh, it comes from the base pack, so maybe we will try to get some more later. Uh, some piggy banks will be good. And uh, and I run uh, two rainbow colored circles to top it all off. Since you have to capitalize on the only thing you're good at, which is uh, evasion. And, uh, we might have a bit of trouble. This time, since I believe uh, Sealed Archive is a battlefield, and uh, Aru really has trouble with uh, those battlefield stages. That's to be expected of a non combat character. Aru's, Aru's head of heart, as for you, is also very uh, opponent dependent because uh, it relies on your opponent not having cards in their hand. Otherwise, capitalize on the game. And essentially, we pay 30 stars so that everyone draws up to 3 cards, and uh, we get 10 stars from each. So, the best way to use it is you have no card except for a person in your hand, and then you use it, so then you're simply paying nothing to draw 3. And anything, any more, any more stars you get, by virtue of your opponent drawing, is just a bonus. Best case, like, absolute best case scenario is... Everyone draws one card. Uh, I should I say, everyone draws three cards. Which would involve no one having cards in their hand, and you only have the cards for you, so that when you use it, it'll be three times four, and then you'll get 120 stars. In the arrows. Aru's hyper card effect is you get 10 stars for each card drawn. You'll probably never get that off, so uh, I won't rely on that too much. Now, uh, we've been avoiding the combat which is really good. We really want to focus on farming stars. We have the most stars out of any other host right now. We're at 29. Excuse me. We will level up. And we'll go for 30 or more stars next. This does give the sword the opportunity to fight us and heal the lower up. Should she roll high enough? Uh, she will do that, but. Uh, we will defend, and then since Sora actually only has one health left, we might be able to knock her out. Uh, our attack value is pretty bad, so I wasn't expecting too much. We have two dash cards in our hand. Dash cards are generally best used to uh, dash to an opponent to try to take them out, or to try to... Or to try to uh, dash to someone already on a volley farm. Uh, Sora used extraordinary specs on us. Uh, that's just unfortunate that we really couldn't uh, roll high enough to defend. Sora is now level 4. Which is ridiculous. Since, uh, there's, there are people in this game that are still level 1. Sora's gonna continue to go for wins. Pretty smart move on her part. Since uh, he already has 6. Meanwhile, we are just going to uh, try to avoid conflict and farm. 
Himei's gonna fight our... Himei's gonna fight Sora. And then we exchange one damage. Himei takes out the single. Sora's gonna take out the fresh single. And Aru's gonna do one damage to the third single. And Aru's left with one health. In this case, it might be wise to use dash. Perhaps try to attack Sora. So, we rolled the absolute worst number, which is 4, because that involves getting into a boss fight, and it will be not so. Admittedly, this is probably not a very good state to use Aru in. But, uh, winning with Aru would just make it all, all that much better. So, Sora survived yet again. Sora uses extraordinary specs. Uh, we were really unfortunate to have not drawn any hyper cards, so I already used two of them. Then again, we've only really drawn one card. We started with Dash, and then we took Dash. Sora actually takes out the boss, so that's it's really bad for us. Since uh, Sora's now at 9 wins. And if we can't really fight her, try to stop her. So we just kind of have to take it. So if Sora levels up next turn, we can use the Lola Club. Anyway, uh, finally we level 2. Sora's gonna go for, uh, Sugui. I think Sugui's gonna pick up Sora. We are gonna stop at home to level up and then go for 70 or more Sora. We have to fight. That's expected of a battlefield uh, layout. Uh, Suguri triggers a trap card. And we're gonna use Dash to distance ourselves from Sora. We actually be, uh, managed to roll high enough to rule the perfect number for leveling up. He may lands on Mimiya's hammer, takes one damage, deals one damage to Sentinel, and dodges Sentinel's hammer now. Sora will level up to level 3. Uh, uh, excuse me, Sugri will level up to level 3. Sora's gonna try to catch up to us. We do one damage to the seagull. And we fail to evade, so we'll take 3 damage. Uh, Sora actually passes us by, so we're very fortunate for that. And we do finally draw presents for you. And we can probably use it uh, very effectively. Next turn. Sora gets level 5, and then she's gonna go for uh, the 14th win Norma. So let us use presents for you. Oh, that worked out pretty nicely. We're not gonna fight Himei, we're just gonna chill with her. Uh, Sora used long distance shot to do one damage to us. She knocks out she knocks out Suguri, and she's gonna knock us And then with this kill, that'll be very fortunate. So Sora's probably gonna win this. Uh, yeah, Sora is pretty much uncontested at this point. Suguri or Jimmy might be able to knock out Sora, but it's not looking that good for us. Suguri used out of ammo, so no cards this turn. Sora's gonna fight Jimmy. Jimmy takes 2 damage, and Sora takes 1. She's 
she actually warps closer to her lollipop. So, uh, this is more or less a hopeless situation now. Might have been better if he made bot soil. But, uh, the AI is programmed to think. Holy night is used, but it's too late. Lucky enough to get one more level before Sora uh, wins. Sora's gonna go blazing for the exit. So uh, at this point, we're just gonna go collect some more stars because we can't really stop her. If Sora was a one, though, that's the only way she can win. So that'll be Sora's victory. I'm not gonna give up. We're gonna make our work. It's only been 11 minutes in, so we can probably fit in another one. We're playing this Aru again. Shoving the gift exchanges. Shoving some... Hmm, nice jingle. Nice. Probably, actually, probably want to uh, capitalize on cards that make people discard. And I say this because the uh, Aru works really... Aru is dependent on your opponent having, uh, essentially, a low hand size, for lack of a better term. Uh, let's see, what else can I put in? Uh, we will uh, take out one of each of these. Go for three golden knights. And, uh, we'll go for two... Oh, whoops. Uh, we'll go for two of, uh, flamethrowers. Two... Bad puddings. And then three golden knights. So, so this, this is a, this will be more of a RO century build than last time. this time will uh, steamroll us. Because all we really want to do is farm. Farm we shall. If he warps to uh, another part of the map, he may get fight with Sentinel. Dodges the Sentinel's counterattack. But we still have the Princess's Privilege. So, uh, it's a pretty good card if we don't draw any other cards for like three levels. But I don't foresee that to be happening. As we immediately draw Seal Guardian, which we won't be able to use until level 5 anyway. I believe it's level 5? Maybe level 4. We'll check when it's our turn. So Sora gets a kill. So we get the kill. Uh, it is level 5. I think it's the only card that is level 5. We land on a drop. Sora gets a win, so we're really the only one who right now. I don't expect us to be getting wins. So we warp. Lollipop land. But, uh, we get knocked out by Suzuki. Finally, uh, so the only good 
thing about this is that we've been gaining passive stores. Well, Sora is quickly on our tail. We reach level 2. We roll abysmal numbers. Sora figures maybe this hammer is going to do damage. Hey, okay, where's the chicken? He may fight to set up if you want damage and take one damage in return. We draw peasants for you, but I'm really kind of useless. I suppose not completely useless, but. Our hand tiger is full, and everyone else has two cards. So at best, we break even if we use it. That's, that's pretty bad break even because you're essentially giving your opponent free cards. We finally reach our lowing ball again, and level up, and then we'll go for 30 or more stars. Kills. So Sugri with four wins, Hime with four wins, Sora with five. We go low values and then we'll invade. I, I honestly don't recommend playing Arm on Battlefield stages. You're just gonna have a pretty bad time. Hime goes for the lollipop, but she doesn't have seven stars yet. And we draw Holy Knight, so we'll get our Princess for privilege. Doing this over so we can lower our hand size. We'll use Holy Knight now. And uh, we'll go for this uh, bonus. He may might fight us next turn. We survive without the dash win. He may choose not to fight us, which is surprising. His first stats are better than ours in every way. I'm not complaining. Sora gets the seventh win. I think we're gonna use Dash here to try to catch up to Hime. But our dashes are always, always so bad. Sora does one damage to Sentinel, gets dealt one damage in turn. He may use Binding Chain, so no of us, none of us will be moving for the next turn. And he may actually use the final battle on the boss. Surprisingly, he may be doing pretty well for himself, but he inevitably gets uh, knocked out. So, he may uh, he may revival rate is ridiculous. That's probably an observer bias, though. Oh, I was afraid of bad pudding. So we lost our presence for you card. And that would be circle. So Sora with 9 wins. Just secured her normal up to level 5. Despite the fact we're the farming character, uh, Sora has nearly twice the amount of stars we can. See how powerful combat is in uh, these battlefield stages. All we can really do is keep farming. Can't stop other people from farming. Uh, we just want to avoid combat as much as possible. Just keep farming. Sora's gonna have to fight the boss. Hopefully, the boss can take her out. He survived with one health, and Hime's gonna fight us, so we're gonna use Rainbow Cold Circle. We have to evade this, we invested too much in evades not to. So Rainbow Cold Circle really mattered to help us evade that attack. And the reason why we wanted to evade is because we really want to survive until we get to our Holy Club. But Hime's gonna get another chance to fight us this turn. So we will reach level 3. And Hime will fight us again, and he uses a... Uh, I'm on fire, so this will probably be the end of our lives. This is this is 
why Arlen is so bad of a character. You can't do anything about this. Yeah, you farm, and then like, everyone else just farms off of you. So we're at a 70 stars. Hime is level 5 now, using our stars. Sora picks up the boss kill, putting her at 12 points. Mimi picks up the Sora kill, putting her at a 9 win, and takes up the chicken with the 10 win. The good news, although like, we're really switching up, the good news is we have enough stars for level 3. But that's pretty hard not to do, since the star normal is only, is only 30. Uh, we'll use presents for you now. We get another presence for you. And uh, we're just gonna stop by the way. Go for more stars. Like, but what's the point of using presence for you if it gives your opponent more cards to you? You may actually use sealed guardian. That puts everyone at one health. We're just gonna try to exhaust our hand. Uh, generation powers. Now this is probably Hime's game to win, if I were to guess. Hime's lollipop is green, so that's maximal distance, but... Uh, that's unfortunate. Evade. Sora gets her 6 win off ball of Sigma. So, Hime at this point is just... Blazing through to the exit. We do work closer back to our home when we go left of the Uh, Sugi managed to evade the chicken counter attack, so she'll survive. At this point, I'm really hoping that, uh, to not get shot, but, uh, I'm hoping that Sugi can knock out Hime. Sora reaches level 4, but Sora isn't the problem right now. So we actually evade and deal some damage back to Hime. So... Let's continue along the struggle with Leo. We're gonna use gift exchange to give presents for you to someone else. That didn't really work out in our favor. Because, uh, we can't present for you. Uh, Siri, you leveled up using the Lollipop, so... Unless Siri can counter-attack, uh... Wow. Uh, I actually gave, uh, Hime Accelerator, so... My bad! We'll use presents for you. Draw three cards. And, uh, get some more stars. But I'm not hoping too much at this point. All he may have to do is, uh... She actually goes the other way and skips a turn, so... Perhaps Sora can take out Hime. Perhaps. A little more confused by Hime, so... We'll be going through two combats per... Uh, about... Uh, our main goal is just to survive. So, uh, the other two though, don't seem to want to fight Hime. I, I call conclusion on this. We drop into a privilege, which is pretty bad. Because, uh, we don't want cards in our hand. Dash. Dash away. 
I thought he'd use hammer. So we lost our presence for you, Khan. Uh, he may slowly getting to him. Oh, uh, that, that, our own trap probably, uh, messed with us. We have to use a memo code circle to su ensure our survival. Presence for you is used. And, uh, Siri lands on the flamethrower. So, this is essentially how you want to play R. Give presents for you to someone else. And then follow that by... Uh, follow that by... When we land on flamethrowers and such. We got really lucky that he may land it on a warp. Which means, uh, unless he may rolls exactly on a lollipop, she won't win the game. Crazy things have happened. He is gonna fight Sora. Sora's gonna do two damage to Hime. He got flamethrower. That's okay. There's not much you don't know, have for uh, keeping anyway. He may need to roll a third one to win. He rolls a one though, so next time she needs to roll a three. And we'll use all my friends. Because we're avoiding combat anyway. We will eat it. Uh, Suri is not that hard. It's actually Sora that wins, surprisingly. So, this will do it for uh, this episode. Next time we're not going to play as Aru, because Aru is a terrible character. So, uh, until next time, thanks for watching, hope to see you again, Castella out.